Hello friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to look into a um, new preview feature which came out in February 2024, mainly known as Timdel. It is basically a short form of tabular model definition language. Uh, I'm not a programmer by nature, but I think this is really exciting um, feature. And uh, in today's video, we're just going to do some basic thing, what it is, how it works, kind of stuff. And uh, there will be no more videos on this feature uh, I will be doing. Uh, but before we go, uh, let's understand what this is, why this is important. I'm going to share the official documentation of this, uh, which you define what Timdel is all about. I will share this link if you haven't already seen this. What you have is um, it's a kind of a developer mode um, feature. The key component of this is which is highlighted here why Timdel. Basically, it is designed to easily edit the Power BI files with any text editor, which is awesome. You don't have to open Power BI desktop to do that. But anyhow, that's one of the things. But I think the most component part is, is source control and uh, collaborative development experience, which is really, really critical. So I think these are the two main features which will really, um, you know, stands out uh, about Timdel. So today, what I'm going to do in this video, you know, I love calculation groups. I have tons of videos on calculation groups. So I already in my Power BI file, I have a calculation group created. What we will try to do is create another calculation item in that calculation group using Timdel and see uh, from outside, right? So that's what we're going to do. Uh, all right. Um, the first thing, since this is a preview uh, feature, you have to go in settings and uh, make sure in preview features you have turned this on. Uh, Power BI project and the PBIP. Um, store semantic model using TMDL format, that's what you need to turn on. So basically when you're saving your file in a PBIP format, you want, you're you gonna tell it that store the model in the Timdel format, that's the first thing. All right, so let's, once this is done, um, you have to save the file as a PBIP file to store as in a Timdel format, right? Because the default format is PBIX. And what we're going to do is click Save As and then browse this device. And I'm going to go into my downloads. I'm going to create a new folder here. Uh, let's call it Tindle Demo. And under that, I'm going to save this file and uh, call it. If, if you have the drop down here in the Save As, you see there is another option Power BI project file, which is PBIP. Um, I'm going to save it. Okay, perfect. Now this is done. It's saved as in a PBIP file. And let's go to download folder and look at that, what happens inside that folder. So here we have a, um, a folder in which we store the PBIP files and uh, Timdel format. I, I'm not going to go into the structure of this folder because it's already well documented. There's no point me explaining things which are already there, right? Because those are well written, well explained. So I'm not going to do that. So two folder of this is a PBIP file and then you have a data set and a report. Right now the report, I don't think it follows the um, uh, Timdel format, only the data set is, right? That's a uh, future, I think in the future it's gonna come, the reports will also be in the Timdel format. So what we're gonna do is go to data set. Uh, and here the all different uh, files are here, but the main file which has all the details and information that is in the definition folder. It has multiple Timdel files, database, expressions, model, and relationship. So each file, as the name implies, like used for uh, different, um, different, I would say, blocks in the Power BI file, right? Relationship related stuff is in the relationship file, model related in here expressions and uh, database. So what we're doing in this particular demo, um, first of all, like we can actually open this file with Notepad. If we look in the Notepad, it opened on a different screen. So I'm gonna bring it here. It, it's, uh, it's, 
user friendly readable and define all the details about you can actually change this if you wanted to if you know what you're doing uh, you can edit it here and save it and it will work perfectly fine so it has all the details in here i'm not going to go into details of each file um, but what as i said at the start of the, this is uh, we wanted to store the file in a Timdel format and we're going to look at one calculation group and add a calculation item to that without um, uh, opening Power BI desktop files. To add it a calculation group, we need to go into the tables folder, which contains all the tables. And if you guys know, calculation groups are nothing but a, a special kind of tables under the hood. So this is where we will go. And as you can see, all the tables what are in my Power BI files, it's all been listed here, right? All the tables in my file. Again, if I go back to Power BI uh, here, all these are the tables which are listed in the tables um, folder here. Now, my calculation group is called time intelligence. I know that. And again, if you go back here, this is a time intelligence calculation group, which I'm seeing here on my um, uh, on the visualization so that's a calculation group already with the period as a column and uh, three calculation items in it mtd qtd and ytd right so we want to add another calculation item that's called it ttm like uh, trailing 12 months right and if we open this file with uh, let's uh, open it with uh, notepad and then we will see the definition of the file right in a tim timbre format so it's pretty straightforward here. Uh, this is a table and then this is a calculation group at the starts of the calculation group and the presidents is again calculation group as a presence and then all the um, uh, what do you call the calculation items are listed here. And if I want, I can change the logic here if I want it to be right. But our goal is to add another um, calculation item to it. So what I can do is I can either copy the existing item like YTD and or I can start typing, right? So I think the easiest way should be, uh, let's take this and uh, just copy it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to call it TTM. So that's our new calculation item. And then I we're going to write our logic. And I know my measure is going to be for this particular calculation items is going to be dates in period and cap. now here you have to make sure you're typing it correctly if you give the table table name and call because it's, it's a free form text right whatever you're typing it's just going to show up in here so uh, i think i have the measure here i will grab that instead of uh, writing it and making a mistake uh, actually this is it so what is a selected measure? Whatever measure used on the visualization, dates in period, calendar date, maximum. So that's just a uh, trailing uh, 12 months measure. And uh, now we save this file. Perfect. And uh, what we need to do is the changes will, of course, not show up in here because this file is already open. We have to close this. And I'm going to say save it. All right. And uh, what we're going to go is go back to our pbip file which we already saved and we're going to open it now and uh, because we changes the changes are made outside power bi right we open it with the tax box editor and then uh, notepad and made the changes so it's saying uh, immediately as we open the file i think let's get rid of this what it is saying is one or more calculation groups need to be manually refreshed i guess there is a, a detected the changes happened to the that particular calculation group okay so it uh, did it here so why would do we expect to see time intelligence has the ttm showed up in here let's see um oh no it did not uh why that would be the case because i expected it to show up that change which we did but let's go back to definition tables and make sure that notepad. oh i see our changes are because 
I made the changes in the text uh, in the notepad to that calculation group and then I saved the file to Power BI. I think that overwritten uh, overwrote my, my changes. So now I think what we need to do is we need to close. Uh, yeah, okay, file is closed. Let's uh, redo it again. Again, this is the first time I'm doing so I, I'm not sure, uh, you know, I, I need to understand all this stuff. That's why I'm sharing this thing. So basically, you save the file in the PBIP format, close your Power BI desktop, make the changes and then reopen it. If your file is already open, you made the changes outside, either you close the file and don't save it. If you save it, then it's gonna override the changes. So I guess that's what we learned. So I'm gonna, again gonna bring back my, my year calc here. So let's do it here, okay. So that is our, we added the new calculation item called TTM. And we just copy the YTD and we will try to understand what these back ticks are. And then, and then uh, this is my changes. So we save it. Yes, save this and then go back to the folder and go PIB. Let's open this. So what we expect is the TTM to show up, right? Um, if everything works fine. All right, it says refresh now. And oh, here you go. I already have the TTM here. It was not there before. Now this is uh, the calculation item showing up in here. So if I click, yeah, I can see that my year is working. Anyhow, my year is working, I know. Oh, so I was able to add it. So basically what happened is uh, we we added the TTM outside Power BI. We simply edited it uh, outside um, Power BI, but let's close it and double make sure that we repeat the steps so I don't save. Let's say we remove this TTM. Let's go to data set, definition, tables. Uh, my calculation was time intelligence. Okay, here you go. Let's open on another screen, bring it here. Let's remove this. I'm gonna cut it and save. Perfect, go back. Open Power BI file. I already see the TTM disappeared, but I it's always asking me to refresh now, I guess. No, I don't understand that, but anyhow. All right, so perfect. So what happened is we able to change the file, the definition of our um, uh, metadata outside, um, uh, outside Power BI. But uh, one thing is, of course, a little bit challenging is like you really need to know the definition of everything, how you want to write. But I think that's, this is pretty straightforward. I'm not going to spend time on that. Um, but one challenge which I feel I have with this thing is um, um, let's go back to time intelligence because it is plain text and uh, you really have to make sure everything is aligned and has been done, no color coded and all the stuff. But there is a solution for that. There's a Visual Studio code, which actually has, uh, you can install the um, um, on your computer, which is free. I already downloaded that and it's called Visual Studio code. Uh, and I'm gonna add it, it through that, right? So I'm a Visual Studio code. I just um, uh, downloaded that. Uh, Visual Studio Core, let's open the file, uh, which would be our um, data set, definition, tables, time intelligence. Oh, here it shows everything color coded. The reason why it is showing um, color coded because I installed a, an extension uh, called Timdel extension. So if you go click on view and extensions, you see all these extensions being installed. So here I searched TM, TM, Timdel extension, which is from Microsoft, I installed that. If I don't have this one, it will be just shown as a regular notepad kind of file. So installing the Timdel file in Visual Studio Code is pretty straightforward. You go to view and uh, click on extensions and then you search the extension what you need and then um, it will install that. And I, I never used Visual Studio Code before, so I don't know. Uh, anything about these things so I'm just learning so here we have the same thing right I can um, I can actually now edit it here but I think it here it's gonna be much easier so let's uh, uh, write manually instead of copying so because this is much easier so let's call TTM is equal to calculate 
Oh, this is so easy here in selected my year and then my my year was dates in period was it okay, let's bring it uh, I have it here where to type it and then um, close this so okay, okay that's pretty much it so this was only thing so we manually now type the my year here uh, that um, calculation item here and then i guess we need to save it how you do that so yes should be a save okay perfect save close let's make sure we edit it with the um uh, open with the edit in notepad just to make sure that our changes are saved okay yeah so it's here okay so let's go back to power bi oh let's close it we don't want to overwrite it and go back to pbip <clears throat> I, guys i'm doing this as i have no idea about visual studio code extensions and all the stuff tim Dell never use it this is the first time using it so all that fun stuff is uh, i'm just learning as as you guys oh perfect here you go our change is here and uh, now everything is working all right um i think uh, this looks pretty cool uh, i i liked it uh, because now i can make the changes outside i think uh, I, i'm gonna leave this video here um so basically what we did in this video to just summarize this is a preview feature you need to turn on the settings uh you save your files in a pbip format um, um when you save as and then it creates those folders and um, then each folder has uh, different files. The, um, the main is the data set and the reports. Currently, it's purely on data sets. Under data sets, you have a tables and uh, some other changes is tab, uh, files as well, Timdel files. You can open those with the notepad, whatever your um, choice of your tool is. Um, and then you can make the changes, save it, open back your PBF files and the changes are there if everything is good. I guess if you don't, do it. I, I prefer we use Studio Code again. We use to because it, then there's uh, syntax checks and some other things are in in there. Notepad is like if you really know what you're doing. Uh, so to use it with the Visual Studio, what I did is I installed Visual Studio Code free, of course, uh, free available from Microsoft uh, um, site. I will share the link in the description of this video, and then. Uh, I install the extension called Timdel extension, and then I open the same time intelligence uh, file. Uh, table file and the made the changes everything is awesome so a couple of things we will look in next time is uh, um, some more <clears throat> things in the timdel uh, how it can be used um, all right let me know what you guys think about this video again this is the first time i'm using timdel video studio code extension i have no idea uh, i personally like it I, I i know where it's going to be useful for me but i will be keep on sharing my experience with this all right guys until next video have a great day and make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell icon to get notified for the new videos. Until next time, have a great day. Bye for now. Cheers.